Time to redo game one of the team winning in match. What's up, Doomsday? What's up, Rich? Uh, you guys, you guys got to miss my um, my like big debacle of screwing the pooch absolutely by uh, letting my internet die. I think I would have won that game though, because he only had one Garbatoxin in play. So the moment I killed the Garbatoxin, uh, no, I told him I'd let him go first again because I that's only the right thing to do. Because I, I like very frankly, we're redoing the game as is, I think. Yeah. I even grabbed my mom's iPad. And I was like, mom, you have data on your iPad, right? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, I might need it to play my Pokemon game. And she was like, what? I'm like, don't worry about it, mom. This is important. She was not having any of my shit, I'll be honest. Welcome to the team winning in tournament where I'm playing Volcanion. Come on, don't hit a Trubbish, don't hit a Trubbish, don't hit a Trubbish. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yo, we're playing some good old-fashioned Volcanion, you know? You ever just sit down one day and you're like, you know what deck I'd really like to play? Oh, no Trubbish. You just like sit down one day, you're like, you know what deck I'd really, really like to play? Okay, cool, my mouse died. I'm going to go play my turn and get my Charger. I'm just gonna end. I'm gonna chill with the. I'm not gonna go two ham with that hand because I think like going two ham is how you lose, especially against a thing like Volk or I mean I think uh, a deck like um, Buzzgarb because going two ham means like you don't have enough bacon left in the tank. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go find my charger real fast. Yeah, what is going on? How did everything go so wrong so quick? Okay. Got my charger. Oh, that's really unfortunate. The charger looks like it's very broken. On the bright side, I don't have a USB-C charger. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Um, I can letter. This is a pretty good hand. I think this hand's actually busted. Oh, sorry about that. There's no music, Goldfish. I don't like playing Goldfish during... I mean, yeah. Fuck, fuck Goldfish, you know what I'm saying? I don't like playing music during my tournament games. Unless there's actually music, in which case I don't know why the hell there's music. Um, 80, add 60 more, 140 knockout, yeah. I have to be careful with the energies also, just because if I overcommit in any regard, I could simply lose based on getting end out of the game and not having energies left in my deck, because I already pitched the super odd. So... Oh, I'm 10 short. Just kidding. Just kidding. This is fine. I'm actually a moron, so here we are. I didn't have to bench one of them. I could have held one, so I could have just done one less steam up and played for the choice band next turn, which I think is more correct. 
but now I'm going to get Garbotoxin, and now I have four big boys on my bench. Um, I have all my floats, which is not bad, and I have a way to pepper music in. Or, sorry, pepper damage in, so it's fine with me. So I'm not in a bad spot whatsoever, and he's going to end me to six, because Buzzguard plays a lot of ends. <laughs> Eva tall break feels bad, man. Uh, if he doesn't get a tool, like I actually think I just win the game. I don't even need to steam up to knock out, so I can just I can just kill and power up two more guys. I can go this, this, and then hold my steams for later. Um, see, this is a mistake. Cause, thank you for the follow. Because I can now have gone Guzma kill um, with a Lele, uh, which is now a huge mistake by benching this. So now I've overbenched and left myself susceptible to like Guzma shenanigans potentially, even though I've got four floats into the deck. They're, the odds of me hitting them are like relatively low. Especially later game, I'm going to get end to lower and lower. See, now I could have made a Guzman play and tried to kill this thing. And, like, that's the biggest threat on the board. So, I mean, I could have... I could have made something happen. But now, we are not making anything happen. It's a Zygird. Ambitious. I love it. Um, I don't need to retrieval. I can just... Pepper, Pepper. Pepperdine Farms. We're just looking for a Guzma here. The moment this thing's dead, I win the game. But if I can't kill that, I lost the game. I'm pretty I'm pretty confident I'll lose if I don't kill it. Because he's going to go for the impact. Or he has to jet punch this turn, which gives me a turn to swing. So I have absorption on top of that and impact. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I broke my USB-C charger also. Hell yeah, dude. All caps, let's get it. I'll, I'll luminous. Yeah, thanks for the guys who stuck around after I was disconnected. Um, my B for disconnecting. Internet's not my strong suit, you know. And also behind me is my desktop that I have to assemble at some point. So I'll have a nice streaming setup. Some, someone going hard next season on Mega Scizor. Um... So I think uh, if you're going to go hard next season, you have to make a, make a concrete plan of how you want to approach it. Um, it's not just like something you can do, just say, hey, I'm going to go for my invite and just not do anything about it. You have to like lay down a ground plan. You got to be like, I'm going to get this many points from this event, X, Y, and Z. You have to set aside money for regionals, dedication, time. You have to make sure you actually don't half ass and go in. That's pretty much it. You just kind of have to know what your game plan is. Like, so if you have a game plan, you're okay. That's, that's pretty much how I describe it. If I can go 50 here, I can set up another guy. Is it worth doing that? I only have one energy. No, I'm going to go in. I'm going to give him the impact slash absorption. And the moment I do that, I can set up this guy. Um, we'll play this in thin. Do I grab the rum raid? I feel like that's wrong, grabbing the rum raid. I have four Guzma in deck. Uh, I mean, if he's jet punching, he's not impacting. So, I mean, I can try to play for a Guzma. So if I do this, 130 puts him at 100, and then I have Shrimp Stack to finish off the job. But if he gets any B-strings in between, I'm in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the summary here. I hope to hope he doesn't hit B-strings. Oh, it looks like I'm dropping frames. Feels bad. One sec, let me figure out why. Okay, as soon as I said that, I'm back to normal. I just started dropping mad frames for no reason. Sorry about that, guys. My internet's been really wonky today. Um, it normally doesn't act up, but I was talking to my sister as soon as my internet dropped, and she was saying that the internet went out this morning a couple times. Yeah, I'm not playing Blower Rich. Uh, I, I took the Elder Garb if I hit Garb. So, um, unfortunately, here we are, taking an Elder Garb. I hit the Guzman one turn too late. As long as he doesn't hit B-String. If he doesn't hit B-String, I'm okay. Okay, cool. Because now I can go this, and then I have... And then I have a Guzman follow-up for the following turn. Because I can go knock out this, and then I can go Guzman up the Volk. Okay, why am I dropping frames again? I'm actually going to kill myself. I 
I'm gonna hold this hand. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna hold. Uh, I'm gonna hold this hand. Because now I put him on a B string turn. So even though I know he's gonna be able to, he doesn't take a prize this turn. Has he got a Guzma? If he has a Guzma, he kills the Remoraid, which is fine with me. Because I think I just go bring up the Garbador and kill it. Yeah, bring up Garbador and killing it's fine with me here. If he doesn't, then I can potentially just try to two-shot his active. Because I don't think he can power up another one. If he goes for like a big boy hero play here, which I don't think he should be doing. I think he should be Guzmang up the Volcanion or the Remoraid. I think you just take the Remoraid prize and you set up the game next turn, which is fine. Because then you're forcing me to have an N. If I don't have the N, I lose. So getting this room right actually might have lost me the game. Hi, how are I think you? All. Hello, hello, Buzz. He has float stones on everything too, so he knows he doesn't. I don't play blower at this point. I'm pretty sure. Um, so he's basically saying like, I have game, no matter what you do, if I have energy. So let's do this. It's not an N. He's used three ends, but he has two Guzmas left. He has two Guzmas and an energy, which is really unfortunate. So I have to play for a top deck choice band. Do I have to play for a top deck choice band? Because I can Guzma up the Vulk and kill it, but if he doesn't have an energy, I win. So I think that's my line. That's the line I have to play for. Because if I can kill the Garb and he doesn't have it, then I win. But if he does, I lose anyway. But if not, I can, like... If I bring up one of these and hit them, I lose anyway. If I try to hit, hit him with this, I do 20 damage, which is literally nothing. Um, consequentially, like, if I hit the Lele, then I have to bank on the top deck Guzma. Uh, top deck Choice Band, so I'm going to do this play. Um, it's one turn too late. It's literally one turn too late. So I'm going to lose this game. I'm very confident I'm going to lose this game. <sighs> yeah, he should have the energy. Yeah, I lost. <clears throat> GG's. I'll lead. Go first. That's game one.